I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face. Breathing is kind of the springboard to get mothers to engage with their babies. Margaret Johnson is a neonatal nurse practitioner at Baptist Health. She makes the rounds to help treat babies in the NICU. And she also encourages moms to pick up a book and read to their child. We know that by about 24 weeks gestation that babies can actually hear sound. And somewhere around 32 to 35 weeks gestation, babies can actually recognize and learn some language. Now in my final trimester. In the honey sunny day in the bright and breezy air. I've learned reading is a great stepping stone for moms to talk to their babies more before they are born. And I catch myself saying some things, but it's not as often as I, I probably should. Turns out I've had a pretty good head start. All right, we're going to read this next book, okay? And this one I'm sure you've heard plenty of times. Since my first trimester, I've been reading at various elementary schools for 10 weeks to promote reading at an early age. Johnson says reading to your baby during pregnancy helps your child in the long run. We also know is that a baby's vocabulary by the age of three is the greatest predictor of how they're going to perform academically. Why? Little Cub asked. Because he was excited. Because Johnson is so passionate about building and strengthening bonds between parents and babies, she's hoping to make it easier for moms in the NICU to pick up a book. As you can see, it's hard to keep this shelf fully stocked. The bookshelves were almost empty, which for me is a great <laughs> sign because that shows me that moms have taken books and that they're reading to their babies. Next Monday, Suzanne takes a look at how reading to babies in the NICU is building and strengthening bonds with parents. The